Well, as you know, most of the stuff I do now, it seems like it's kind of random, but um, I did order these the other day. Um, normally what I would do is, this is the kind of paint I use, Life Tone, which is lacquer based. I don't know. I mean, you got to have it more ventilated, but it, it does seem to apply better, dry quicker, better application purposes. But, you know, teach your own if you want to use Hydro Mist or whatever. Um, but normally I would take these and then I would have um, just a little paint cup. That one's all dirty. I don't use this one. Anyway, one similar to that. There's another one. And, you know, that picks in a mix in a color so say i had like a yellow let's say a yellow orange mix for like wood ducks or whatever you know and then you mix it all in there stir it up paint and then when you're done you have to pour it out lacquer thinner clean everything out like with a brush you know and then dump it a few times and then clean your brush so then i saw on amazon because i had a few bucks um on a gift card there and i was trying to find something so what i started doing it's so ordered a whole bunch of these. And so I put my, you know, like my blue mix. If I go over with like Widgeons, Pintail, it's like a mainly pale blue with a little bit of ocean blue um, to kind of mist over it to give it that bluish kind of hint, but not make it blue, if that makes sense. But these things are cool, man. Like um, just has a little cap that comes off. And so you could paint. And then when you're done, obviously, just put it back on. So that helps with it drying out. And it's never a bad idea just to kind of add some lacquer thinner in there anyway, like if it's been sitting for a few weeks. But, you know, I don't know. This is something that's cheap. Here's actually, here's an empty one since I didn't have. But, you know, it's like it's already got a little ball in there to help mix. It's just plastic, no big deal. And they're cheap, but they hold lacquer paints, obviously, which is what I was worried about. It, but I've been doing fine. I've had them for about a month now. And now when I go in there, it's like I, I hook it up, spray when I'm done, unplug it, cap it, and go to the next color. And my lacquer thinner usage just went way down. Like, and like I used to, I used to use, this is, so I mean, it's called ghetto, but it's like, I'd cover it up. But this is like my, for my divers, which is a lot of birds, you know, widgeon, pintail, ringneck, redhead, canvas back, on and on. And so th this is one I had, and, and I just, I don't know, it just never dawned on me to just look for, for more. But this one's kind of a little bit harder because it's, I had to add the ball in there, and it's, you know, the cap is a little harder to take off than these. And um, anyway, I just wanted to show a video on some of the paints um, that I use. You know, like Wood Duck Yellow, obviously it's self-explanatory what I use it for, but, you know, on the yellows, and it's like I have... Um, my tan, my, just my normal solid colors, but then other colors, for example, when I need to use yellow orange and you can see how it's set, um, kind of segmented there, but then, you know, once you mix it up and just get the ball kind of going around and then when it's time to paint, so normally I'll do all this before I paint and then that way it's like good to go, but that starts to, to mix back up. That's a little bit on the outside. That's still kind of, but anyway, um, just, I don't know, just something that's been really helpful and waste a lot less. And, um, and then of course I just have my, since I'm going to be making a painting video here and then I just have my little double action. I want I think I got it from like Hobby Lobby or something back when they had 40% off coupons. I don't think they do it anymore after COVID, but, um, Nothing, uh, nothing major. And you can use the cheap ones you get, like as long as they're double action, you can get them on eBay. They're like the Chinese made ones, um, for like not much, but you know, like I said, it's more of the painting thing is kind of big just cause especially when you, when you talk about like, uh, snow goose feet, some of the other harder mixtures, it's like you mix a color up and you get it and you're like, Oh man, this is perfect. I love it. But then the next time you go to mix it, if you do three drops of this instead of two drops of that, it looks different. And so that's where this would come into handy is once you made it, then you're set for the next, you know, probably 30 or 40 of them. So anyway, thanks, guys. I'll have another one come up, too. I'm going to do real quick on the flushing machine. I may get asked about, but thanks.